Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I'm getting ready to go to the movies with my sister. I actually just finished curling my hair. And yeah, me and my sister are going to the movies. We are kid free. I was about to say FKF, like F kid free, but I love my kids. We're gonna go see a movie. We're supposed to go on Tuesday actually, cause they do like the Tuesday matinee or whatever but that didn't end up happening so anywho um yeah i am just throwing some curls in my hair you guys saw me get this hair put in i believe it was in my last vlog i'm pretty sure and i have really been loving it it curls super well it's very full i got four bundles in salt 16 18 20 22 and it is from the company dy777 hair they did sponsor my previous video that had this hair in it but i just want to let y'all know how it was because i really didn't get to talk about it that much but i just wanted to show y'all that this is some really good hair especially for the price i will say that there is shedding like there's some shedding and it's not od but it definitely there is definitely a little bit of shedding here and there i would say probably about mm, five to seven strands each time that i like brush it so it's not horrible but like i said the price for this hair is too good like too good to be true almost but it's not because here it is baby and i love that the volume that it gives me and it's very like i don't know it's just super fun and i really like this hair a lot i wish i would have dyed it though because it does come in this like true brown natural brown color i feel like black baby would just set this off but i am gonna keep this i did have the lady install it in the fold over method for my sew-in so that none of my tracks got cut so that i can put this style in again and yeah i really really like it um the curls are just too good and they last a long time and this hair just curls so much better than the hair i had in before whenever i try to curl that hair it would just get frizzy and this hair definitely has a little bit of like a frizz to it but it's just i don't know it's a whole different vibe so i will link this hair again if you guys are interested this is not sponsored this company already sponsored um me but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update it's by dy 77 hit 777 or dye hair 777 i don't remember i'll have it across the screen right now um but yeah this hair curls beautiful beautifully and i can literally curl it in no time like when I say I be throwing these curls in, I be throwing these curls in. Anywho, I'm actually putting a little bit of effort into um, looking, I won't say looking cute, but looking a little bit more put together than I ordinarily would to go to the movies. Because I kind of want to take an Instagram picture. I think I talked to y'all about this already, but maybe I didn't because child, I be cutting out so much stuff out of these vlogs. When I just be feeling like I'm saying too much or I'm rambling or they're getting too long, I would just start cutting chunks out and moving about my day. But anyway, I feel like whenever I was doing my retro of 2022, I came away with two things. One, I did not go out and hang with my friends enough and live life enough. And two, I didn't take enough pictures like of anything, of my experiences, of myself, of my family, me and my family, me and my man, like nothing. It was giving very much nothing. It was giving very much a lot of pictures of my Starbucks drink, my Dunkin' drink, and very abstract ass pictures, if I'm just going to be honest with y'all. So, um, yeah, I said all that to say, I want to try to take an Instagram picture. I am definitely not necessarily trying to grow on Instagram because child, and I'm, mm -mm, Instagram can, can have it but i'm just really trying to create a catalog for me myself to look back on and be like yeah i did that or just to see what i was doing this year because i feel like i don't even know what i did last year like i don't know where my head was at last year i feel like i was on autopilot for so much of it and i hate that i really hate that so coming up out of last year i really just wanted to get back to taking more pictures being in the moment all of that okay y'all y'all have to tell me <laughs> i wish i could tell me in real time if this is like giving i wanted to go for like a layered look i hope y'all can even see me is that better i don't know 
I wanted to go for like a layered look. It's freezing cold outside, at least to us Texans. It's so cold. I believe it's in the 40s. So if I did wear this, I would not have to wear a coat or jacket. I do not like coats most of the time. So here is, I guess, option one. I have on this sweater over top of a turtleneck dress that I've just tucked into my jeans. I really like the two-tone look of this with the glasses. I'm really only thinking about this from a aesthetic point of view. Like, do you feel like this would hit from a side profile for the picture? Like, would this be giving? I don't know. Y'all don't have time for this. I'm gonna go grab a vest and see what I think about that. Hold on. Okay, so I have this vest. I know this is a weird angle, <laughs> y'all just work with me. I have this vest that I got out of my other closet. But the thing is, that vest just makes me feel so like big. It made me feel like I'm supposed to be tackling somebody or something, I don't know. Or we could go with this look right here. I just hate this, like I don't like this at all. Like y'all see what I mean? It's just like big, like I look like a marshmallow, like I don't know. Maybe we're on to something. I have to keep the back of my like pants covered because y'all why? Oh, because the dress is not tucked in back there. Should we go with this? I feel like I look like a double stuffed chocolate chip or something. Y'all, I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. I want to like it real bad. I really do. But it's just not. It's not giving, no. I'm gonna put the other thing back on and change my earrings and then we finna go. We in Coles, y'all. We're supposed to be going to breakfast or brunch at this point at Cracker Barrel, but we're waiting on our table. So we came across the street to go to Coles because we did not want to get back in the car with kids because they don't have anything to do. And it's just not, a, oh, no ma'am, no ma'am. Mm -mm, get down. Um, But they don't have anything to do. So baby's looking at the men's stuff. We found this cute little dress for Zara for Valentine's Day. It's a 2T, but it looks really big, and she's very petite. She's a 4T, but um, certain stuff like dresses that are long. Well, I'm five. I know you're five, but your size is a 4T. Um, but yeah, this is gonna fit her perfectly with some little leggings underneath. Mila, Mila already has a a pink heart sweater that she can wear on Valentine's Day. No, I just asked your sister to get down. Get down. It's not here for you. I did not vlog the other day, y'all, because there was nothing. <laughs> I know I haven't really vlogged. Um, there we go. I know I didn't really vlog the other day when me and my sister went to the movies, but there was really nothing to vlog, so. I'm so hungry. I've had only coffee this morning, Starbucks, and I'm ready to eat. So hopefully this 30 minutes passes by quickly. Might take them over to look at their toys and stuff. Because they're just all over the place. You finding anything? Where's the wheel? Kind of surreal. You think about those shorts? Thinking What's your criteria? Mm -hmm. Hey, gr girls, put those back. Oh, look at these two. I guess my criteria would be like a range of motion. Um, how comfortable they are on the front of my waist and stuff. These two. Stay over here. <laughs> what are y'all doing? You look cute. Let me see. I love my new hat. Wait, It's Sunday, you guys, and I know that I did not vlog yesterday. I just also tried to film this clip, and my camera deleted it, but we're not gonna talk about it. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday morning, nine o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready to go get donuts in a minute, but yeah, let's talk about the past of this vlog, because I really have not been vlogging at all, y'all, and I just, I wanna pretend like I have a good reason, but I just don't. Like, I've just been 
bringing my camera for decoration and not vlogging shit okay so yeah yesterday i vlogged a little bit while we were in kohl's y'all know that we were just walking around killing time because we were waiting on our table to be ready essentially we were still kind of letting the kids look at toys and then my sister called and was like hey yo the table's ready so we had to like sprint to the checkout hurry up and check out and drop our stuff to the car and hurry up and go to the restaurant which was just cracker barrel um i plan to vlog in there but i think once my phone died because i was trying to get a tiktok once my phone died i completely forgot that i was even vlogging i was like okay i'm scot free i don't have to film anything and yeah i was just gonna show y'all my food or whatever it was good i do have a little bit of leftovers that i might eat later mila i need you to chill out there was really nothing crazy going on i did plan to still vlog because i feel like i haven't talked to y'all in a fat minute but um yeah i don't know what happened <laughs> i put y'all in my purse completely forgot about y'all so yesterday was actually my sister's boyfriend's birthday so that's why we were all kind of hanging out all day we literally were not home at all like we got home at i don't even know what time i'm not even gonna lie but we left the house in the morning and didn't come back home until well after midnight so um yeah but we just went over to my mom's celebrating him y'all already know how it goes at this point if we have a birthday at some point we're gonna end up at my mama's house because she has the hosting house like the biggest house in our family so yeah we just hung out over there chill watched a movie and that was pretty much it um my daddy grilled i don't really remember what i vlogged before that um Oh, the other day, me and my sister went to the movies, y'all. I have the funniest fucking story. Because, again, another day that I had intentions to start a good vlog and didn't really vlog. Um, but, yeah, me and my sister went to the movies, y'all. And y'all already know, we all bring in snacks, yada, yada, yada. So, me and my sister, we were good. We had my purse, had my snacks in it, ready for the movie. We go in, get seated. Everything is kosher. It is one of those type of movie theaters that you can press the button to order food. I'm just telling you that right now, just for reference. So we go in, we sit down, the movie starts. We put, we bust out our snacks. Like, mind you, it's the middle of the day. So there's only one other like group of people. It's like a little couple, a little old couple sitting all the way down, far away from us. And we were second to the top row in the middle so we're eating our snacks we're going ham we see the little guy come in and i guess they ordered food or whatever so we're just like okay cool mind you we weren't like crinkling our paper doing nothing crazy like that we were not acting like animals we was just like slick eating our food so we're eating we're eating it's like a third of the way into the movie maybe and while we see this man the man like the waiter i guess is what he technically is i don't know coming up the stairs and we're like okay well we're the only ones up here so what is he coming up here for and so um i don't think my sister saw him but i did and i was just like frozen because i just assumed she saw him baby tell me why he started coming to the middle of the aisle the whole time i guess my sister didn't see him so sister's snacks is all out my sister is pregnant so she was just going in on her snacks we we have the little tray yeah all her snacks was out okay i was kind of rotating mine keeping them kind of in my purse down below but i did have like candy on my um tray but i covered it with my sleeves um as he was coming in and he gonna come and say y'all did he gonna come and say did y'all want to order anything from us today i about died i was like oh my god my stomach was in my butt because not only did he know that we were eating other stuff, but gonna come up here and ask if we wanted to order something from them. I'm like, sir, if we wanted to order something from you, we would have pressed the button. Why are you up here? So then my sister had mentioned way before we got to the movies that she might order pop popcorn. So I just looked over at her and I was like, oh, I didn't, but um, did you, did you want to order something? And she was like, yeah, I'll just get a small popcorn. Y'all, we were so embarrassed. I, that's when I realized and looked over. My sister had literally full size snacks just out like so yeah it was hilarious it was embarrassing but also hilarious because i'm like sir not you coming up here being passive aggressive we eating our snacks mind your business it's the middle of the day Sugar shaking espresso. You too. <laughs> you don't have no damn home training. Yes, yes, yes. 
talk to you guys at all yesterday but i'm pretty sure i told y'all that i wouldn't be talking to y'all so hello it's monday and i'm currently sitting in the walmart parking lot i'm probably gonna go though because there's this weird person next to me and um yeah it's giving weird but anyway um i'm in the walmart parking lot right now because i just came through starbucks and i have my nail appointment at 10 but it's that weird in between time where you don't really want to start a different activity because you're not gonna have time so it's 9 15 right now and my nail salon is only like 10 minutes away from where i'm at currently so i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna go through the chick-fil-a line right now and get me some breakfast that honestly sounds what i'm gonna do but I don't want to have to go boo-boo during my nail appointment. Because my digestion be on point first thing in the morning. Through the rest of the day, we safe. But baby, if I eat or drink something in the morning, less than an hour later, I'm going to have to go boo-boo. So I'm trying to decide <laughs> if I want to do that or not. Because I really hate getting up in the middle of my nail appointment. Then I be getting that dust all over me. I have on all black. I didn't even get a coffee. I got a chai latte because I really don't want to have to go boo-boo. Anyway, it's Monday and we're actually supposed to be getting some bad weather later today. So right now my plan, I feel like I don't like when you can see the crack of my boobs. I, like, I really do not like that. Um, I only wore this because this is the only turtleneck I have, which is kind of like funny because the whole dress is out. But I have a jacket as well that I was wearing. But yeah, I'm probably going to go, not probably, I am going to go get the kids from school right after my nail appointment. Um, I might go stop by Target before I go get them just so I can get a couple of like snacks and stuff because I didn't re-up this week at all on our snacks like I was supposed to do. So I might go do that. I don't really know. It depends on how I feel. But yeah, we're just kind of chilling until it's time to go to our nail appointment. Okay, y'all, we in the drive through right now. I'm just about to get me a little chicken mini four count this is not what i'm supposed to be eating today <sighs> but i did a meal prep yesterday so i'm just kind of like oh might as well might as well not eat right today just like bro why do i do this to myself why so today i'm gonna meal prep i'm gonna make sure i prep at least two meals for tomorrow um so that i have no excuse because this is just ridiculous Daddy, he making me thick. Rob is hard, bitch is a sticker. I can't be falling in love with a nigga. Pockets will smoke, think I'll pick up. He did me wrong, what I do? Acting a smoochie when I'm off the liquor. Showing my thumb, going cool. Throwing it back and I watch him get bigger. Baby, I watch how I move. Bitches, they see me, don't know what to do. Like, daddy, I got in my mood. Nigga, a munchie, he eat me like food. Yeah, he eating it up. Kitty on water, he beating it up. On fire, heating it up. Bitches be dirty, I'm cleaning them up. I'm back home y'all and as y'all can hear I got the kids from school my camera ended up dying and so I got a couple of clips on my phone then my phone was dying <laughs> this phone got some issues going on with it so I couldn't really vlog that much but um, nothing has really happened okay one second nothing has really happened I got the kids from school um, we we're gonna go to the store but like I said my phone died so I couldn't like each apple pay and you already know that's how I get down we're getting ready to go to my parents house and then we're gonna go no we're gonna go to 7-eleven get a couple of snacks and go to my parents house we we're probably just gonna be over there hopefully the rose did not get bad since we've been home well we have to come back here Can I bring some 
clothes so it can be cozy. You have one cozy clothes. Don't you have your shorts and your shirt on under that? Let me see. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, it's um, so funny. But yeah, we have to come back here to charge my phone because it only charges on this charger that I ordered on Amazon. So. Why are you not going to charge your Jesus phone? Y'all's bestie wants to say hi to y'all, so here she is. Oh my God, you're getting big. Hi. Oh, we, you saw the girl, quite feet, quite feet. Oh, here are the nails, y'all. We just went with a basic French. Um, I hope y'all can see. What? We just went with the basic French because that's just the vibe. And I'm still undecided how I feel about my nails. Y'all let me know if y'all like this shade better or my other shade better. Not that I'm gonna listen to what y'all say, but I just, I've already asked other opinions. My boyfriend does not prefer the other shape, but I just feel more ladylike with this one, with, like with that one. With this one, I feel cute, but I don't feel like classy, if that makes sense. Um, it's not that deep, it's just nails, but I feel like the other shape was just like giving grown women. I feel like this is giving like, I'm in my 20s and I am physically or Technically, but mentally, I'm already 30. So, anyway, we're getting ready to go. The girls have on whatever they're gonna have on. They threw on a whole bunch of layers of clothes that I don't even know what they got on because that's what Texas do. We don't really have one of those. We just layer like onions. Are we already gonna chill at Jesus for a little bit? Yeah, for a little bit. Take a picture of it or something? That one is not over there. I just got the text that the girls' school is going to be close tomorrow too, which is what I expected because it's supposed to continue to snow through tonight and tomorrow. So at earliest, they'll probably be back at school on Thursday, maybe Friday. So really, they just went to school yesterday and that's it. And they didn't even go a full day yesterday. I think I already told y'all that, that I picked them up early. But anyway, about to make a roast. And then I'm trying to hurry up through that, y'all, because I really want to have like a self-care hey. moment. But I need to get them fed and like down for a nap or quiet time so that I can have time to. Anyway, my camera ran out of space. But like I was saying, I want to have like a little self-care moment. So I think I'm going to get them settled with lunch and all of that and then let them have quiet time or nap time. I don't know if they're going to take a nap or not. Honestly, I probably won't make them. Um, but then I'm going to relax and either take a hot shower or a bubble bath. Probably a bubble bath, honestly, while they're doing quiet time. Oh, 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 oh,